Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. So this market seems like it's trying to stabilize right underneath the 200 moving average. So 200 moving average is... Um, basically holding it's acting as resistance not acting as support and we'll most likely have a crossing of the 20 exponential probably in the long term also the golden crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average and that's not going to be a very good sign for bitcoin if you don't break above 200 moving average um then this will most likely go lower break below 30,000, then opens the door to 20 and then significantly lower than that so there's a lot of speculation what is technically happening in this market uh, we could look at historical patterns this is 2017 we got way up ahead of ourselves and this market just collapsed from 20,000 all the way down to 3,000 so it lost half of its value in one week and that story is kind of what is repeating itself here so we lost roughly half uh, Bitcoin lost roughly half of its value in it would take two weeks this time so and the same went for 2019 so there are cycles in this market this just became an absolute ridiculous move to the upside and at this current stage we are most likely just doing the same trends as we have seen in the past where we have rallied gotten way ahead of ourselves break towards half of the value or towards the 61 uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracements which we are at the moment and then we rally back towards the half and then it continues towards the 200 moving average that's how it has been behaving the last two times it has basically broken uh, when it starts to declining and that could mean that within the next three probably five months we are looking at Bitcoin value that is down to 12,500 instead of being up at at 60 4k so that is to be seen um if you look at uh, at the the weekly we can see that technically negative for the weekly are looking dreadful and so this is not something that just turns around all of a sudden we're not just going to see a v-shaped recovery here this will probably go up go down go up and then at some point uh, it most likely will continue up so of course, there are new, there's news about the China's restrictions. There is Elon Musk. And then there is the news that there is enormous amount of leverage in this market. And, uh, well, yes, most uh, that will create a, a lot of volatility. Go back towards uh, 2018 in the subprime um, crisis. Uh, was mainly mainly the fact that brought down the most of the economy but this is not going to bring, uh, bring down the economy not even close but at this point 200 moving average is acting as resistant and as long as that is the case you could expect this to go lower so let's look at ethereum so ethereum very similar here we went to the highs of 4356 all the way down to give or take 1700 we have rallied up towards the 50 got rejected there and at this point we could stabilize here but it kind of this rejection at the 50 moving average usually means that we are going to test the previous lows again so if we break below the 200 moving average then we are looking at 1000 and and lower than that but um we haven't tested the 200 moving average yet we haven't even got close to the 200 moving average Technically, the they are, well, very mixed. MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. If you look at the weekly chart for, for, for uh, Ethereum, we can see that we fell towards the middle of the bullish band, rallied, and now we are basically well above the middle of the bullish band. But break below here, that could open the door to the 50, and that's around 1,000 and 1,100. So let's look at ADA. So we take the daily chart and uh, we can see that, yes, there has, we did have this massive fall. We went all the way down to roughly $1, re recovered 
fairly well and are trading above the 50 moving average. So technical indicators here are very similar to the rest of this market. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we manage to take out the middle of the Bollinger Band, then we could go towards $2 and also the previous highs. If you break below that 50 moving average, then we're looking at $1 and probably the 200 moving average at 0 0.77. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin is struggling here at the 200 moving average. So we fell below the 200 moving average, recovered really well on, the, on Monday. And on Tuesday, we did rally up towards uh, 192 and then gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading right at 174. So if we manage to stabilize here, then we could have a run at the, at the 20 exponential. But it is probably more likely that we'll have a crossing of the 20 exponential. Or if we rally up towards the 20, that we'll get rejected there and then go lower. Break below the 200 moving average could open the door back towards 118, probably 100, and then even lower than that. So it's not looking very nice. This, after this massive fall here, should expect this to rally back towards roughly half. It hasn't even gotten really close to that. It has probably received 2%, uh, 20% of that, give or take, of this fall. So, so. That is not a very impressive for, impressive for bulls. So let's look at NEO. So NEO is doing a little bit better than Litecoin. So it fell towards the 200 moving average and is trading well above the 200 moving average. But also here on Tuesday it got fairly rejected. And uh, if we break below this, then we could head back to the 200 moving average and break below the 200 moving average opens the door to 25 and even lower than that. Technical indicators are very similar as ever for other cryptocurrency. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Rallies from here mostly find major resistance at the 200 moving average or at 72. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is, uh, is kind of the same as, uh, as Litecoin. It uh, tried to rally, rally on, on uh, Tuesday. And we technically got rejected here. So we need to take out these previous these highs here in order to go higher. And we need to get close to that. We're right at the 200 moving average at this point. Break below here or break below these uh, previous lows. That could open the door all the way down to 100 and then way below that. So you can see where we were trading before we took off. That was around the 60, 67 um, and even as low as a 35 down here. This is back in uh, in December 2019. So it is not looking very promising for 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 Dash. Uh, we should have seen a much bigger recovery by now, but maybe it will come later. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin is hanging on with the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. They are still very bearish. So MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is, is uh, still in bearish territory, and the RSI is flat. So this fell all the way down to 0 0.21. And if we break the 50 moving average, then we could easily drop back to 0 0.21 and probably also to 200 moving average. That is kind of where it looks like we're going as the 20 exponential is probably going to go this way and we're going to get a rejection from both of these moving averages and then we could drop even lower break above here then we are when then we could actually go higher towards the previous highs so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much